34. Let f be the function given by f of x is equal to x to the two-thirds. Which of the following statements about f are false? So we have three choices. f is differentiable at x equals 0, f is continuous at x equals 0, and f has a relative minimum at x equals 0. Well, so one easy way to figure this out would be to see a graph of f of x. And thankfully enough, we have our graphing calculator on this section. So let's go ahead and pull out our graphing calculator. And we're going to graph y equals x to the two-thirds and see what happens. So we have x to the two-thirds and graph. Alright, so far so good. That's kind of interesting down there. We might want to zoom in a little bit to see what happens. So let's do just that. Zoom in a little bit. Hmm. Well, based on this graph, okay, we see we're coming down a little bit we hit something down here and then we turn around. And so let's see. So it looks like, let me get back to my face right here. It looks like what happens is this. It looks like we've got some axes, our function. And it looks like we have a cusp here. Okay, so it looks like we're not differentiable, but 0 to the 2 thirds, well the cube root of 0 is 0, squared is still 0, it should be continuous, and it should have a relative minimum. Um, so we can see they're approaching 0 from both sides, so we're going to say it is continuous, and we can see that it's never going to become negative because of this 2, however, um, f of 0 equals 0 to the 2 thirds equals 0. So since the squared can never make it negative, this has to be not only a relative minimum, but an absolute minimum. But let's just take a quick look at this differentiable at x equals 0 and back that up a little bit more thoroughly because who knows, if we zoomed in enough, maybe we could see that it's not a cusp. It is, but maybe we could see that it's not. So Let's talk about this differentiability a little more, and let's find out what f prime of x is. So, f prime of x is going to equal the derivative of this, and we know to take derivatives, we take the of um, a power function, we take the exponent out, we get two thirds x to the, and I subtract one, so two thirds minus one is negative one third, two thirds minus three thirds which in turn is equal to um, 2 over 3x to the 1 third. Okay? I had to move this to the denominator because I had a negative exponent, which is also equal to 2 divided by 3 times the cubed root of x. Okay, that's all well and good. Now, if I try to put in f prime of 0, this makes sense for our function. If I try to find f prime of 0, I'm going to get 2 divided by 3 multiplied to the cubed root of 0. The cubed root of 0 is 0, times 3 is 0, so this is going to say 2 over 0. Uh-oh! We should know right off the bat, dividing by 0 is undefined, not defined. So we can see that um, f is not differentiable. And before we answer, we look and see, we're looking for which ones are false. So our answer is going to be i. Because, or A, because I is the only one of these that is false.